Mitt Romney has made an acceptance speech tonight as many media sources are reporting that he has mathematically secured the Republican nomination. In a post-victory statement, Romney claims the party has come together after a divisive primary with one goal, to defeat President Obama. But is the Republican Party as united as Romney claims? Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. One hundred fifty five delegates picked up by Mitt Romney in Texas tonight. That means he has now clinched the Republican nomination, right? Well, no, it's not true. One hundred fifty five delegates in Texas, but one hundred and eight of them will not be decided until congressional district caucuses and another thirty four at the Texas State Convention in June. Believe me, I wish this process was as easy as the AP pretends that it is, but it isn't. The national media and the RNC keep telling us that at this point, barring something stunning taking place, Mitt Romney is now the Republican nominee. But if that's true, why is the RNC being so short-sighted and damaging itself in the process? For example, take the state of Massachusetts. Just like in Texas tonight, Romney won the popular vote there. But in the congressional district caucuses where the delegates are actually chosen, Mitt Romney, despite having been governor of that state, was embarrassed. When during the district caucuses, Ron Paul supporters took 16 of 19 delegate slots. In doing so, the Boston Globe reports that those Paul supporters, they beat out major names in the Massachusetts Republican Party, including State House Minority Leader Bradley Jones Jr., Carrie Healy, the former Lieutenant Governor, Sheriff Frank Cousins of Essex County, and Republicans' most recent nominee for Governor, Charles D. Baker. But instead of just accepting the results of that caucus and moving on in order to build unity, the Massachusetts establishment has decided to fight back. Now, to participate in the caucuses, voters had to be registered as Republicans before February 15th in Massachusetts. Those whose names did not appear on registration lists, they were allowed to cast provisional ballots and told their votes would be counted if they were proven eligible and if the election was narrow enough to make a difference. But then last week, the party's council began telling Republicans that those provisional ballots would not be counted after all and that the rules had never allowed provisional ballots to be cast in the first place. And that has some Republicans fuming, asking why did the party print, distribute and collect provisional ballots only to later tell voters who cast them that they're invalid. So a ruling will take place later this week. And by the way, while that's happening, the Massachusetts GOP is also threatening delegates that they must sign an affidavit that they will vote for Romney on the first round of the Republican National Convention in Tampa or be charged with perjury. So what you need to know? It's hard to find a scenario in which Romney would not be the Republican nominee, right? Well, if the GOP really believes that, why continue to disenfranchise voters that you're going to need in the general election? If they are short-sighted, then the GOP establishment just might learn what it means to win the battle while losing the war. And that is Reality Check. If you'd like to make your voice heard on the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan.